Hi there! Did you know that the tiny little island of Vulcan Point in the Philippines is the world's largest island within a lake that is situated on an island located in a lake within an island? Vulcan Point also happens to be one of the cones of the active Taal volcano. Interesting piece of land indeed. The Philippines is known for its diverse natural resources and scenic views like mountains and volcanoes. Having these in the country is not surprising. This is because the Philippines is situated or is part of the Pacific Ring of Fire which is characterized by frequent earthquakes and volcanic eruptions. The Philippines is located somewhere here. This is not the actual location, but this is just for representation purposes. Volcanism is a phenomenon connected with volcanoes and its volcanic activity. A volcano is a mountain that opens downward to a pool of molten rock below the surface of the Earth. Volcanoes or openings are vents in the Earth's crust where magma, ash, and gases escape that may cause violent and spectacular eruptions. As pressure builds up in the mantle, magma rises and pushes through vents and fissures. It forces its way out, which can lead to a volcanic eruption. This hot liquid rock under the Earth's surface is known as magma. As pressure in the molten rock builds up, it needs to escape somewhere, so it forces its way up fissures or narrow cracks in the Earth's crust. Once the magma erupts through the Earth's surface, it is called lava. Most volcanoes are formed as a result of geological activities along the plate boundaries. In the Ring of Fire, volcanoes are formed in the subduction zone. When two plates collide, one plate sinks into the mantle and melts. The resulting magma rises through the other plate above it and forms a chain of volcanoes. These are volcanoes from melted crust or volcanoes from subduction. Mount Fuji is a product of the subduction zone that straddles Japan, with the Pacific Plate to the north and the Philippine Plate to the south, subducting underneath the Eurasian Plate. Some volcanoes are also formed along the rift of two plates which are being pulled apart. Magma rises out of the rift from the seafloor as the seafloor spreads. These are called underwater volcanoes. Iceland is formed by the coincidence of the spreading boundary of the North American and Eurasian plates and a hot spot or mantle plume, an upsurge of abnormally hot rock in the Earth's mantle. As the plates move apart, excessive eruptions of lava constructed volcanoes and filled rift valleys. Some volcanoes are formed at the center of a plate by plumes. It is a rising column of super hot magma from some places in the mantle. The shooting magma can burn a hole into the plate above and form a volcano. These hot spots are found at a number of locations around the globe. These are called hotspot volcanoes. The Hawaiian Islands were formed by such a hotspot occurring in the middle of the Pacific Plate. While the hotspot itself is fixed, the plate is moving. So, as the plate moved over the hotspot, the string of islands that make up the Hawaiian Island chain were formed. Let's label each part of the volcano. We already know magma which is the molten rock beneath the Earth's surface. Then we have the magma chamber. This is where magma is formed. Next, the parasitic cone. This is a small cone-shaped volcano formed by an accumulation of volcanic debris. The sill is a flat piece of rock formed when magma hardens in a crack in a volcano. A vent is an opening in the Earth's surface through which volcanic materials escape. The crater is the mouth of a volcano. It surrounds a volcanic vent. A laccolith is a sheath-like intrusion that has been injected within or between layers of sedimentary rock. The layers of ash are fragments of lava or rock smaller than 2 millimeters in size that are blasted into the air by volcanic explosions. And finally, the ash cloud. It is a cloud of ash formed by volcanic explosions. 
Volcanoes have several shapes, which are controlled by the composition of the magma and therefore the nature of its eruption. Geologists generally group volcanoes into four types, cinder cone, composite, shield, and lava dome volcanoes. A cinder cone volcano is also known as scoria cone volcano. It forms when volcanic cinder or blobs of congealed lava of basaltic composition comes out from one vent. Its explosive eruptions are caused by gas rapidly expanding and escaping from the molten lava that comes out, sort of like a fountain. The lava cools quickly and falls as cinders build up around the vent form a round shape, leaving a crater at the summit. These volcanoes will be as high as 100 to 400 meters. Because the lava is blown violently into the atmosphere, it breaks small fragments, then solidifies and falls as cinders that surround the vent. An example is the Taal volcano in the Philippines and Paracutan in Mexico. A composite volcano is also known as a stratovolcano. It includes a number of the world's grandest mountains. It is composed of an alternating layer of lava flow which justifies the name composite volcano. It can have a cluster of vents, with lava breaking through walls or issuing from fissures on the perimeters of the mountain. The eruptions are extremely explosive and dangerous. Pressure builds within the magma chamber as gases under immense heat and pressure are dissolved within the magma. When the magma reaches the vents, the pressure is released, and the gases explode violently. These volcanoes are up to 100 to 3,500 meters high. Mount Fuji in Japan and Mount Mayon in the Philippines are examples of composite volcanoes. Shield volcanoes are huge, gently sloped volcanoes that exclusively erupt basaltic lava. These include a number of the biggest volcanoes within the world. It is built by many layers of low, viscous lava flows. The eruptions don't seem to be explosive. The lava oozes out from the central vent or a gaggle of vents and spreads far, building a dome-shaped profile similar to a warrior shield. They are as high as 9,000 meters from the bottom. The volcanoes within the Hawaiian island, including Kilauea and Diamond Head, are shield volcanoes. A lava dome is also referred to as volcanic dome. These are relatively small, circular mounds formed because the lava is simply too viscous to flow, which makes it pile over and around the vents. Because the lava oozes out, its outer surface cools and hardens, then shatters, spilling loose fragments down its side. Lava domes are found within the crater, or in the edges of enormous composite volcanoes. Their height depends on the dimensions of the composite volcanoes around them. There are lava domes within the crater of Chaitan Lava Dome in Chile and Lassen Peak in western United States. The Philippines has more than 100 volcanoes as of 2013. There are several ways by which volcanoes can be classified. The Philippine Institute of Volcanology and Seismology, or FIVOLX for short, have adapted a system where the Philippine volcanoes can be classified as active erupting, active torment, or inactive. An active volcano is a volcano that has had at least one eruption during the past 10,000 years. An active volcano might be erupting or dormant. An erupting volcano is an active volcano that is having an eruption. A dormant volcano is an active volcano that is not erupting, but is supposed to erupt again. There are 24 active volcanoes in the country, according to FIVOLX. The majority of the active volcanoes are located in the island of Luzon. An inactive volcano is one that could erupt, but has not erupted for more than 10,000 years. Inactive volcanoes are also called extinct or sleeping volcanoes. Inactive volcanoes are expected to erupt again at some point,
despite being dormant for thousands of years. Volcanoes with no record of eruptions are considered as extinct or inactive. Their physical form since their last activity has been altered by agents of weathering and erosion with the formation of deep and long gullies. Inactivity does not necessarily indicate the volcano will not erupt again. But what are the advantages and disadvantages of living near volcanoes? Volcanoes and volcanic activities are usually related to destruction. Risk of living near volcanic areas include destruction to land by volcanic materials, landslides, pollution, and effects on weather. However, these materials are important to human life. As an example, lava and volcanic ash contain nutrients that enrich the soil. Many volcanic materials are very useful in industrial and chemical uses and as a source of heat energy. These beautiful and magnificent landforms also attract the attention of tourists, so people living near these volcanoes make a living from it. Now let's wrap things up. Volcanism is a phenomenon connected with volcanoes and its volcanic activity, such as the movement of magma from the mantle to the surface of the earth. A volcano is a mountain that opens downward to a pool of molten rock below the surface of the earth. Hot liquid rock under the earth's surface is known as magma. Once the magma erupts through the earth's surface, it is called lava. Volcanoes may form from melted crust or subduction, as underwater volcanoes, or as hotspot volcanoes. There are four types of volcanoes according to shape, namely cinder cone, composite, shield, and lava dome volcano. Fevols classifies volcanoes as active erupting, active dormant, or inactive volcanoes. That's all for now. We will be discussing about volcanic eruption in our next video, so stay tuned! See you on our next video, and don't forget to keep your minds busy! If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel and hit the notification icon for more videos like this.